Hello everyone, my name is Hisham Musalhi. I'm going to show you in this video the second method of exporting AutoCAD file into SketchUp. So in this method, we have to create 3D out of two-dimensional AutoCAD and then export it directly to SketchUp without bothering to uh, push and pull or clean or any other uh, of those skills or tools. So uh, to do so, of course, we um, knew before how to export just the needed objects like the walls and columns, and then we'll go from there. So this, this is just two-dimensional drawing here. And by pressing on this, we would know that this is just two-dimensional. So I want to extrude this all together just with uh, one command. I'll extrude everything, okay? And instead of just push and pull each plane. So uh, to do so, I make sure that I am on the right layer. So it will be wall exterior. So I will just have this as 3D with wall exterior layer. So uh, to extrude that, I will type extrude. Then select what I want to extrude and then enter and then go up and type nine feet. So it will extrude all of the objects at once. And even if you notice that even those columns were uh, like uh, with the column layer, now they are converted to the current layer here. So this is now wireframe. So I will turn the drawing display to hidden. So it, it will be clearer for me. So I don't want you to bother with those lines here because as we go, I'll show you how to get rid of all those unneeded divisions with just one command. Okay. So now I want, before I, I carry on, I will just subtract this duct here and this duct here because they are void. So type subtract, select this, and then enter, and select what you want to subtract, enter. See, now it is subtracted. I'll do the same with this, enter, and subtract this, enter. Okay. Again, subtract. I'll select this, enter, and I make sure that I select this, enter. Now it is subtracted. Okay. So to make sure, I'll just go to realistic and now everything is fine. Okay. Now to get rid of those lines here, because those are different objects. So as they are different objects, I want to make them as just one solid object here. To do so, just type uh, before I do that, I just want to have this as perspective. So if, uh, instead of parallel projection, which is isometric now, so I'll just uh, press here custom view, custom view, and choose perspective. So it is perspective now. So I want to union all of those objects. And when you when it is unioned, you will see that those divisions will no longer exist. So type union and select everything at once and then enter. See, now there is no divisions because they are just welded together as one object. Okay, so the other um, step here, or the second step is to create cells for 
for windows so again it is rectangle from here to here just two dimensional rectangles as always very easy to do from here to here those are doors so I wouldn't bother so from here to here and from here to here so those are cells here so I will extrude those cells with one command which is extrude and select them yeah I forgot one here I will go back and create this but anyways it is three feet so I will go here and create another one rectangle from here to here and extrude from here three feet okay so I have the cells already for all the windows now it, it will be a good time to union that instead of just having uh, individual objects because the uh, at the end it will be just walls okay so uh, union and select everything here enter now there is no divisions okay they are welded together now I want to create lentils for uh, first for the windows and then doors so again rectangle from here to here here to here I just want to make sure that everything is accurate okay now I will create a rectangle here from here to here by the way I just realized that this this and this one are doors not windows so it is very easy to fix actually so I will create a rectangle from here to here and then extrude this one here and have this as three feet and then subtract so uh, type subtract select this enter and subtract this one here now you can fix whatever uh, missed so I will do the same here so nothing is infixable everything you can fix even if you had any mistake or you missed anything so I will create here rectangle and it will be from here to here again uh, extrude type extrude and it will be down here with three feet 
now uh, type subtract subtract this enter and select and then select whatever you want to subtract okay so even if I had a mistake I can easily go and fix it so now I want to extrude the lentils downward so again extrude I will select all the windows and I want them to be one foot down and for the doors it will be two feet down now I have everything uh, in place and I want to weld all of them so I will type union and select everything just watch the divisions now now there is no divisions everything will be just one solid object now I'll just go ahead and save this as 3d drawing okay now I finalized everything inside AutoCAD um, when it comes to modeling now if I go to SketchUp simply just file import and have this again I make sure that everything here is checked and the import now everything seems good as 2d but if you go to perspective it is done already in 3d and SketchUp so all what you need is to add the windows and doors and floor it's the same thing you can just if you want to add the floors now so you just go file import and then floor or floors import and it will be added right away okay so yeah so it will be again everything is ready to for the windows and doors to, to be inserted I have no problem with any divisions here I don't have to clean anything it is cleaned already in AutoCAD so it is really really easy way to work with it is more advanced than the first method but again it is up to you uh, whatever you choose or you feel comfortable with okay so thank you very much and uh, good luck